We're talking about Apple products though. And this ooh, came open right away. Oh yeah, it's a better fit than the regular AirPods for my ears. Check the look. Sick. Not the strongest connection, which might be the sweet spot. I don't know. Oh, we have volume. It's really weird that it's... There's a lot of crossover here. Who, who, who said they're almost the same? We have some AirPods today. The new AirPods. That's the confusing part, isn't it? AirPods third generation, not pro. They still have the pro. They still have the second generation. These are the third generation. A uh, slight improvement over the second generation, but you're gonna pay more money. I have the Canadian price on this particular package, $239. So it's still a premium price. Who's it for? It's for somebody who wants some of the pro features without an ear tip style design. Uh, this also has the MagSafe charging case, which I think is a pretty cool improvement for convenience and such. So this can just snap onto Apple's magnetic MagSafe. There's a thing going on with the word MagSafe and how it applies to the variety of magnetic Apple products because there's like iPhone MagSafe and then there's the new MagSafe charger which is really kind of like the old MagSafe charger for the laptops. Anyway, point being is you can magnetically charge these which is a nice touch as well. Oh, also I have new uh, later case just like this one. AirPods third generation, 100%. DuPont Kevlar, same fit as this one. So you can pick that up, order that up if you're gonna be getting the third generation AirPod. And another quick preview before I jump into the box. I got the new G-Shock watch, smartwatch, Android Wear. I haven't worn a G-Shock in a long time, but if you've been around the channel, you know I used to love these things. Wear OS by Google, plus Casio G-Shock, rugged and stuff, GSW H1000, made in Japan. So that's a bonus round after we do the AirPods. Now the shape of it, they changed. So even though it's not interchangeable ear tips, it is a sort of a more bulbous looking shape to it. Still has your uh, toothbrush stem looking situation. However, the stem is a little bit shorter on this one as well. Easy unboxing experience. You know how this goes. Zip and zip. Also come with spatial audio. So AirPods 3 are gonna have the spatial audio feature from the AirPods Pro. Standard AirPods never had it. However, active noise cancellation continues to be the biggest difference. That's gonna be exclusive to the pricier model with the Pro designation. You've been using the AirPods Pro recently. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on that? I love them. Oh my god! The noise cancellation is amazing. Noise cancellation, he says amazing. He's trying to get Mo out of his life. At least the noise that Mo is making. Which is frequent and constant. Maybe the dog. I don't, Mo's not that loud himself. No. A little bit of paperwork inside the package. Touch controls, obviously, on the side of the stem. Play, pause, skip tracks, and Siri, if you'd like to use it. The case is a little bit larger than regular AirPods, as you can see, but not quite as large as the Pro model. That's interesting. We peel this and this ooh, came open right away. Still gonna have your uh, lightning connector on the bottom for charging it up. You're still gonna have your LED on the front. It's all very familiar. Look at the two-tone black and white look. Pull out the Pro Bud and pull out the third generation Bud. They're so comparable in appearance. That's crazy. It's almost like the new third generation Bud is simply missing the nozzle and that's it. If I pull off the little adapter, in-ear adapter. Look how similar those look. The Pro model versus the third generation. Although the speaker portion, the port is larger on the Pro model still, and actually the entire earbud is larger on the Pro model still. Let's try this on. Let's get an idea of some comfort here. Right, left. Now, one benefit of not having a nozzle like this is you have a, a fit that's a, I don't know what to call it, more of a casual fit. If you're going for the opposite end of the spectrum from noise canceling, maybe more towards transparency, then this is just naturally more transparent because it's not sitting in my ear canal so I can even hear myself speaking. I never had trouble with the original AirPods and the fit there, but some people say it falls out of their ears. You were complaining about that in the past. I don't think anything's really gonna compete with the Pro model for fit because it's in the ear canal. Oh yeah, it's a better fit than the regular AirPods. For my ears. Yeah, this this is this is loose. This is more loose. It's a smaller, it's a way smaller earbud. 
Where's the charge pad, the Apple charge pad? All right, well, while Mo goes to get the, uh, the MagSafe charger so we can look at the connection of this thing, also in the package, you have a typical traditional cable option. On this end, it's still gonna be lightning. Now, as far as the case is concerned, let's see how that fits on. Well, no adhesive necessary, it's a friction fit. So that just goes bang like that and you still have access to the button and bingo. Check the look, sick. Okay, so we have the uh, Apple official MagSafe charger. Uh, this is just gonna stick when it gets there. You see the orange light comes on, it's charging. It's not the strongest connection, but it doesn't really have to be because you're not really gonna be using the case while it's on there, not like the phones which have to make a sort of stronger grasp because you're gonna be using the phone. And yes, it does work as well with the case on. It still sticks. Oh, and charges. I also think with this new design, they're gonna get a little bit less disgusting. I don't know why that is, but like with the earwax and stuff, the in-ear is gonna be the worst for that. These were kind of bad for that because they had a really small nozzle as well. This one with the like bigger opening, I think it's gonna be easier to clean it out and get the debris out of there. That's just a little side thing. All right, so there's a, an update preparing here. iOS 15.1. All right, we're back. It is uh, another day because this one, we left it updating. It was like the world's longest update for some reason. 15.1 ProRes, I blame ProRes. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're back and that's the main thing. And now we are finally gonna get to listen to the third generation of AirPods, which might be the sweet spot. I don't know if it's in between these two. And so you save a little bit of money on this one. You pay a little more than this one. How are they gonna sound? I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna listen to these and then the pros. Can they replace the pros? Should you get them instead of the pros? Do you need noise cancellation? All right, so right away, of course, we get our wonderful AirPod connection prompt. I am connected. Now, I just gotta be honest with you. It is almost no isolation. I have music playing, piano music somehow right away. Where is this music coming from? That's my uh, Apple Music. Oh, it's your Apple Music. I was like, what is going on here? Thelonious Monk, man. It's funny, when you're marketing spatial audio, I never imagined there's also, I mean, you end up with the, the activity of spatializing. I've already demonstrated spatial audio with the Pro models. It is magical. I, it sounds stupid. It sounds so stupid. It feels like I'm a, I don't know how, the software. Ooh, that's a switch. We're in Kirk's library right now. They sound better than these little AirPods. It's, it's, there's a thickness. There's a thickness to it. Sound better than those. Oh, this is a banging album. You're gonna love this album. It's a comfortable uh, earbud. It's a day-to-day, -day, it's an everyday. I don't know about Lone Star Rag, but definitely when we had the Drake on there. Okay, fine. Wow, this is my like 2016 in a bottle right here. Lots of volume too, hey? With like the ear health care turned off. Oh, we have volume. I like having more volume than I need and then just like allow me to, you know what I mean? Like as far as the volume's concerned, I, I need to be able to manage these things. Somehow there's just like a little bit of uh, punch lacking, just a tiny touch. Uh, maybe I should just do an A-B test right now, same track. No, they're not even close to as good as the pros. No, not even close. People are saying People are saying what? They're pretty close. People are saying what? I don't know who you're talking to. I don't know who you've been chatting with. I got buds flying over here. Flying buds. But here's the thing, all right? All right, let me just, if you don't mind, let me just uh, give you my take here. I have no idea why you would buy 
uh, unless you absolutely hate having things in your ear sit deeply in your ear, if the ear tip in the ear canal drives you nuts, that's the one reason I think you should look at the uh, AirPods third generation. That's a, pretty much it because these are better, have more features, and they're not that much more money. If you're already close to two bills on the earbuds, I guess the wireless charging is a nice little touch. I don't know what kind of value that brings for you, but uh, you're so close to picking up these or uh, finding them for slightly less on a discount or something. I guess the case is a little bit smaller. Get the Pro, that's it. That's easy, that's easy, get the Pro. Yep, I'm sold, I'm resold. If this is uh, what you're considering, if these are your options, get the Pro. Yeah. I mean, they're fine. I mean, they're fine. Get the Pro. Skip these ones. Get the Pro. Which one should I get? I think you might, you know what? I gave it some more thought here. I think maybe go for the Pro. I'm guessing that Apple still sells a lot of these and people are intimidated. Like, th th there must be a reason why they feel like this, this product needs to exist in the middle of these two. Maybe this thing's on the way out. They're gonna hang on to it for just a short period of time, maybe the holiday season, whatever, one more generation, because they have an abundance of inventory or it's easier to make right now because of shortages or shipping or COVID or whatever. I don't think this, design is necessarily gonna be there forever. I just feel this product makes more sense when you don't also have this one as an option because they're so similar. That's all, that's all. Get the Pro. Skip these ones. Get the Pro. I don't know if you guys noticed, Kanye, he shaved his eyebrows, he's been wearing these around. Well, Mo wants a later case shout out. Yeah! That might be one of my favorite later case products, the way those fit on the AirPods Max. Get the Pro. Let's check out this new watch. How about that? Uh, a G-Shock that has Wear OS. It can work in uh, like a light power consumption mode as a pretty typical G-Shock, which I like. Sometimes I don't want smart features, don't need heart rate, and I don't want to drain battery. So you can go for much longer periods of time uh, when you're in sort of dumb mode and then flip into smart mode when, I don't know, you need to track heart rate or something like that. And I typically don't want notifications on my wrist, so that's a cool compromise or that's a cool hybrid type of setup. They're so rugged, you slam it into something and you don't, you're not concerned. Anyway, built into this one, shock resistant, heart rate, GPS, altimeter, barometer, compass, and uh, also some water resistance as well, as you would expect in a rugged watch like this. I love the old school Japanese digital watch unboxing experience. I can imagine somebody thinking, good Lord, that's, a, that's too much. I can't have that on my wrist all day, but I don't mind, or at least I didn't in the past. Ooh, G-Shock feelings. Look at the strap it clicks along there through there you have a double clasp you see the heart rate sensor on the bottom yeah so look at these little wrist supports as well because it is so large huge tactile buttons you get this it's almost like magsafe sort of that little pin portion and what happens yeah it's magnetic lovely and that's it it has some minor blue accents, like on the start button over here. And uh, also you can see through the wristband. So that's your look. I'm telling you, it's not gonna be for everybody, but it's so rugged, you know? But if you're into it at all, if you're the rugged type, or you just appreciate having ruggedness, then uh, this is kind of a cool, uh, merging of the worlds, of the watch worlds. Couldn't be more different than the watch Kirk's currently wearing. That is a the fanciest of fancy Apple watches. Gold plated, right? That's from Caviar. Now, it's obvious why Apple took the approach they took, but I'm glad that other options exist. Look how cool the G-Shock logo is. Just so classic. I'm gonna set it up with my uh, Pixel 6 Pro and Wear OS, and if you wanna know more about my experience with this watch, I'll probably chat about it on the next episode of Lou later. So head over to that YouTube channel. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this show.
is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I know from personal experience, I mean, I have a pretty hectic household right now. Uh, there's a new baby there, and sometimes you get take sometimes you're looking for a deep breath, you're looking for some reprieve. Uh, sometimes uh, it can just get chaotic, and you're trying to put, put a little order in there. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self help, it's a professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Special offer for Unbox Therapy viewers. You can get 10% off your first month. Just make sure to go to the URL betterhelp.com slash Unbox Therapy. You can also click the link down in the description if that's easier for you. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this show.